we have all been told that the future of agriculture is going to be a certain way. That farms are going to get bigger, it's going to be more remote from the cities, that we're all going to have products that are processed and shipped to us from a long ways away. But we say, no, that's not the future. In fact, we're starting to look at that as very much the past. In this region of the country, we have some of the best soils you can find anywhere in North America. And all farmers in Pennsylvania live within a day's drive of half of the U.S. population. We have a tremendously well-educated group of eaters here in the Northeast who understand why it matters where their food comes from. And there's such tremendous demand for local product, for sustainably grown products. We have plenty of market right here to make our farms viable. Small farms count. Small farms are big business. My initial reaction to the Willstown uh, Conservation Trust Russian Farm Project was, uh, I was ecstatic. I was very excited to have um, a local, sustainable agricultural practice uh, happening in my own backyard. One that I might be able to take colleagues, students, teachers to and have them see firsthand some of the things that I had been preaching for my entire career. Conservation of watersheds and sustainable agriculture would go hand in hand. They're mutually compatible. I think all of us in the environmental world are trying to improve and increase the stewardship of the earth. We just do it in different ways. Some buy land, some count birds, some uh, farm better. One without the other is actually not going to accomplish the ultimate goal of increasing environmental health and stewardship. Rushton happens to represent all four of the habitat types that we care about here in Pennsylvania. That's forested area, that's grasslands, that's what's known as a shrub scrub, uh, it's that intermediate area, and wetlands. The area called Rushton is, I'd say, roughly 20% you know, agriculture, and the rest is fields and, you know, forests, and, and it's a glorious spot. It had been a beautiful natural place before, but it really took our farmer Fred to vision it for us. We have three acres that we grow on. For us, that is perfect for an intensive farm operation. Our CSA membership at this point was 80 shares. Some of those shares were split, so we had 100 families ultimately involved. We grow 150 varieties of fruits and vegetables. And I'm guessing it represents 15 to 20,000 pounds of food. From a farmer's perspective, we really try to think about the soil first. We think about the, the health of our soil affecting the health of our crops, and that's our primary focus. Conventional farming is making use of every inch of ground available to you. What we clearly have found is that that doesn't work in the long run. It might give you immediate results, but it's a detriment over a long period of time. I think a farm has the ability, if managed in the proper way, to really support the surrounding ecosystems. I started researching about how a farm could impact wildlife, and once I started understanding how it could intersect, it, the possibilities just became, they, they became overwhelming, and I got extremely excited about all the things that could happen. Our stewardship staff interacted with Fred in laying out the farm, even to the point of planting wildflower meadows that would attract the birds. That sort of planning was an integral part of how we went about developing the vision. You can walk through and see wildflowers growing in one section, see grasses growing in another, see meadow on the hill, see the woodland surrounding it, and then see a diversity of crops growing successfully within that landscape. That's a new vision of what a natural landscape can look like what you're growing, becoming part of that environment, and that changing of the seasons just like everything else does. If we look at the farm as part of our whole mission of conservation, I think it's seeing that notion of agroecology, of how keeping farmland in farming is a form of conservation. 
Preserving the soils is a form of conservation. What we've shown through Russian Farm is the ability for that ground to produce food to bring the community together and still respect the natural resources. Really what the Trust is about more than anything else is connecting people with the land. And we have done more in connecting a larger community to the mission of the Trust, the core mission of the Trust, by getting into the farming business than anything I can think of that we would have done. The future of conservation lies in having enough people care about preserved land and open space. And to have people care, you have to have a place for people to come and get out on the land. You have to have a place where children can come and feel connected with nature. If you had said how appealing we would be to children, it wouldn't have even have been on the radar screen. But to go and see those children when they hold a sawed owl in their hands, that's all because of the farm. It's a life-changing type of experience. And the kids are the ones that are our future. The neat thing for me as head of a bird conservation organization is to see a land conservancy go, wow, look at how many people care. Look at the lives we have changed. We're very proud here in Pennsylvania of the fact that we have preserved so much farmland. In fact, it's said that we actually lead the nation in farmland preservation. We have to have a comprehensive plan, not only for preserving farmland in Pennsylvania, but for preserving the farmers and putting new farmers on that land wherever possible as a priority. We dream of having a network of local landowners who allow maybe young farmers to come onto their land and and start producing um, and that we ultimately hope we will end up with a, a network of young farmers who work together and encourage each other and support each other. If we're going to achieve our mission, we absolutely need the Land Trust to be our partner in accomplishing that. And I think Rushton's a great example. Uh, that model I would like to encourage with every Land Trust in the United States of America for National Audubon Society, because I think um, we're proof here at Russian that it works, and um, we're gonna do more of them. I have been involved on now several occasions in planting potatoes, and I love the potatoes. I never had any idea that there were so many different varieties of potatoes. I like the fruit, I like the tomatoes, uh, I like the potatoes, I do like the Brussels sprouts, and I like and I wish we had more lima beans.